Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. So today, the much anticipated 519 Nude Dentel. This is one of the five new Dior Velvet palettes. I have already filmed with Blue Velvet and I will go ahead and link that up here. And as I release the video, I will have all of the videos to all the separate palettes also in the description box. So let's get to it because y'all seem to be very excited for this, as am I, because I'm a neutrals girl. So let's get into some swatches and I will go through my collection tomorrow and start posting some, some comparisons on Instagram, as well as swatches on my skin tone and my daughter's skin tone who is medium. So this is the first shade and I am swatching them one, two, three, four, five. So the two top, the middle, and then the two bottom. I'm so excited for these palettes. I was shocked at how much I like that blue palette because the blue velvet, it just blended seamlessly, effortlessly. So this is the first shade. This is a satin. This is the second shade. Very pretty. This is the fourth shade. This is the fourth shade. Oh, that's a velvet right there. So as I said in the blue velvet video, not all of the shades, this is the last shade, are the velvet formula. So this is a satin, this is a satin, this is a matte not velvet and these two are the velvet formula so they are really nice the velvet shades do blend beautifully and what i can appreciate is the packaging just this matte black with no fingerprints on it i mean you still get some smudging but not fingerprinting these are all limited edition i'm not sure if that means once they're sold out they're gone once also they sell out, they may come back and then eventually fade out. I'm not sure what that means. But again, here are the shades. So let's create two eye looks and I will try to speed through the eye looks for you just to keep it quick, fast. And if you want to make a decision, you can make it quick. I'm going to create two eye looks. I'll do a day look and an evening look. As I go along and I'm chatting and I'm applying the shades, I will have the palette up on the screen, which is like a little indicator on the shade that I'm currently using. Let's start with the evening look. Since that middle shade is a matte and I feel it's very similar to my skin tone, I'm just going to apply that everywhere just so that the shadow I do lay down blends easily. So these palettes are seven grams. They are made in France. And Dior does have velvet shadows. However, they're the singles. This is the first time in a long time. I believe I heard it might have been Lexi Jong say it was in the 90s. I wasn't wearing makeup in the 90s. As far as the formula, I know they added cornflower extract to these shadows and I'm not sure if that is to all of the shades or just the velvets like making them different from the ones in their regular line or if they just did that with the velvets and does that make them different from the ones that come in singles? I am not a hundred percent sure. So there are those two shades.
there is the evening look without eyeliner or mascara that was so easy that took me 12 minutes 12 minutes so let's move on to the day look the day look and honestly i feel like both could be day and night they're both absolutely stunning you can definitely add this one here that i didn't use on this look and just apply it as the next shade and just create a beautiful ombre smoke it out with that dark brown velvet shade it will be absolutely stunning this took me six minutes it was quick fast easy and how you dress it up is liner i love neutral shades with just having fun in my liner purples blues greens just have fun with it it'll look absolutely stunning so if you're afraid of color and this is the color story that spoke to you just like me i would definitely say enjoy it do your looks as you please but if you're afraid of color but you really want to try it Try adding a pop of liner and just poof. It's cute. I'm going to go off camera, put on some eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So here are the looks with eyeliner and mascara. I did apply two different mascaras and two different liners. absolutely beautiful this is oh i love it so let's talk about what i put on so for the waterline on this eye this is the charlotte tilbury magic duos in the green on this side i did apply the metallic and just brought that all the way across and on this side i brought the matte green all the way across for mascara on this side, I used my everyday daytime mascara, which is the Chantecaille Faux Sales. And on this side, I used the Bite Beauty because the Bite Beauty will really give you that oof. And that's what I'm looking for if I'm going out. How you doing? Throughout the entire video, I did have on the Dior Lip Glow Oil. This sold out so fast, so, so fast, but it is beautiful. If these are any of the ones that in their permanent shade range come back, I highly recommend just getting one. If you like a lip oil, this is the best one I've tried so far. I'm really enjoying the Merit one as well. Over that lip oil, I applied the Dior Velvet Nude. And this is in the shade 200, which is Nude Touch. And this is the Velvet formula. It's a really nice formula. I have a video dedicated to these in different shades. I'll link it up here. But this formula mixed with the lip oil, oh, longevity and hydration, amazing. But with this eye look, you could really just put a, you could put a red, you could put a coral. With That's the great thing about a neutral palette. You can play with colors in other areas. So if you're not comfortable, playing with color and your eyeshadow. You could do it on the waterline. You could do it with your lip. You could do it with your blush. Just have fun. But for an elegant, everyday, neutral look, I absolutely, absolutely love this palette. And again, I'll go through my collection tomorrow and I'll post swatches of this palette as well as any other palettes I think it compares to. I, I do have a few in mind, 
But if this is the color story that speaks to you, it it's beautiful. It blended effortlessly. If you watched, I had to go back and add this shade here again in the outer V. I will say they are so soft and so blendable that when I added the shade all over the lid, this shade here, I felt like I lost that. So I would just recommend if you do pick these up, doing your lid first and then your outer V for your dimension. So you don't have to keep going back and forth between shades. It's absolutely stunning. I couldn't recommend these enough. And I do have a quick PSA thanks to one of my subscribers, Queen B. So that is in regards to the Nude Riviera highlighter. It's been brought to my attention by my subscriber and I did do some research and it and it was an issue. Am I surprised that this was an issue from Dior? Absolutely not, considering their history with their site. But they had a labeling issue. So where I did a video, and I'll link it up here if it lets me or not down below, because I think you could only tag a few videos. The whole video, I said, this is New Riviera. It says 001 Nude Riviera back here. Well, apparently this is not new to Riviera. Dior had a labeling mix up. I will take a look at photos. This might be, I just, I don't know. But this is the pinkest of the two. So if you're shopping for this one, it is what I have today. If you're shopping for this one, just make sure it's pink. It's pink because don't go based off the any names that I have said because the, it was labeled incorrectly. So again, that is the highlighter there. Now what I did is I did dab lightly Nectar from Westman Atelier and then immediately brush this on because it grips, it just, it sucks in that powder and it gives you a nicer glow. So although it is a luminizer, if you could buff it all over and it'll look very light, not like a highlighter. But if you apply a little bit of cream, that cream grips that powdered luminizer and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this, reaching for it. I believe it's probably in the description box of every video I've done since then. These are gorgeous. Not as pigmented as last year's, but absolutely gorgeous. But if this is a, the color story that was speaking to you, it definitely has my stamp of approval. That is two out of five palettes. I hope they all perform like this. If they all perform like this, I'm going to be elated to have. I'm already elated to have them in my collection, but I'm going to be even more elated <laughs> that, that they just blend so effortlessly and I create can create such beautiful eye looks so quickly. Honestly, I really do think this is the best Dior formula I've tried. Like these velvets, like now I'm mad that I never got into the singles game, but <laughs> I don't reach for singles. I think it panned out all right. Thank you all so much for coming and giving me some of your time. And until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye. Yeah.